Hello, and welcome to the Dad and Buried podcast. My name is Mike. I am the titular dad and, does that work? The eponymous? I don't think so. I think it works. Titular is a word. I don't think either of those work. They're both words. Eponymous? Hi- hippopotamus? Big hip-hop time. Hippopotamus? <laughs> um, dad and Buried, aka, did I say my name was Mike already? Yep. I'm Mike and Dad and Buried. Um, mm. That's not your last name. No. Though. And my it is, Buried is not my son's name either. People That's have your, said that to me. Is your son's dad and Buried? You call your son Buried? Yeah, man. Come anyway, on. is Does my it have co-host to be a man? Pete? <laughs> so, I don't know why I brought gender all into you it. You're see right. It's my co-host is Pete, race. Um, known also known as Pete. Yep, that's it. And uh, you'll know me from such things as my email address. So you're doing Troy McClure. So yeah, there you go. You'll know me some from other podcasts such as the Joe Rogan Experience. Well, is that the name of his podcast? I've listened to the follow. I'm a podcast listener. Your devotee. Yeah, and I listen to other podcasts. So you don't do social media. Mm-mm. I. You can find me at dadandberry.com. Um, also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as Dad and Barry. And you know where else you can find me now? Motherfucking TikTok. What really? I started TikTok. I started TikTok, and the only thing I do is. Uh, stare at the camera while playing chapstick. <laughs> Four videos up every time. Chapping time. You know That's what? all I do. I made a joke on Twitter, and then I decided I'm just going to do it. Just be careful. Why? Well, There's people out there with a chapping time fetish? Pretty much. And then you know what? I'm looking, the I'm, listening, you know, I'm looking to spice up my life. You Keep are? Keep it spicy. Okay. Why not? Cool. A little variety. By the way, do you know the woe? What's the woe? Oh, you son of a bitch. If you're on TikTok and you don't know I don't know, know shit. Woe, Dude, all I know is... You're is Somebody immediately commented, "Just want, just remember that I'm first in case this blows up." I'm like, "This is a thing. <laughs> this no. guy cares." Yeah, I have like 11 followers. After this, 12. After people hear this, maybe 13. I literally all I do is stare at the camera and apply chapstick. You're gonna be the biggest <laughs> star on TikTok. Do you hear this? Anyway, world. So if you want to support me I'm on TikTok, cool. please don't people. expect anything other than what I just said to you. Me staring into the camera, yeah. n- making eye contact, and applying chapstick. Okay. I have um, sugar cookie flavored chapstick somebody gave me. It's very strange. I feel like this is what people just come to expect from you. Though. From me just <laughs> yeah, staring just at them. Of, well, that's what I do on the subway, yeah. but not everybody who listens oh, rides point. the F train. So now you get the full Mike experience, Dad and Buried yeah. experience. Because I wish you changed the name. The Dad and Buried experience. Mike Dad and Buried. Mike Dad and Buried. I should change my last name to Dad Mary? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. There you go. I'll talk to my wife. She didn't take you know my what? last name the first time. Why would she do it this time? Because guess what she did take? What'd Your she handle. Take? Yeah, she Mom took my handle. Buried. She doesn't want my last name, but she'll take my handle. Mom and buried. Yeah. Well, I guess, look, let's be honest. Dad yeah. and buried's more successful than Mike ever was. <laughs> and that's not <laughs> well, saying much. Mike never had Patreons. Patrons. Patrons. Via Patreon. Thank you, everybody. I want to I thank our listeners. Um, everybody who listens to us on Spotify, Apple, and everywhere else you get your podcast. please subscribe and rate us on Apple. For everybody who actually gives us money on Patreon, thank you very much. want to do a quick shout-out to them. The Single Dad Tier, Check Your Kids at the Door, Chris Coleman, M. Cedeno, uh 1980, Mallory McKenzie, Miriam, Tina Davis, brand new, welcome yep. aboard. The Dad Bod, Andrea Sandoval, Barbara Geiger, Bill D'Amica, Dana Bozde, Jacques Govar, Morning Glow, thank you very much. The Father Figure Tier, Jennifer Wynn, Julie McCarthy, Paula Polsky. The World's Greatest Dad Tier, Julie Burton, good luck to the Chiefs this weekend, even though Pete's pulling for the 49ers? Uh, I think so. I don't know. I just, you know what, I don't know, Mike? man. I Mahomes just was your boy. He's your he man crush. He is my boy. I think maybe, okay, there we go. I'm a Chiefs. I'm, I'm rooting for just the Chiefs. Just because you want your heart, the heartthrob of the Chiefs. You don't think Garoppolo's <laughs> good looking? It's not a good about good looking. It's just the style of play. Yeah. Garoppolo really. is a stone fox. Okay. I like that term. For him. Only for him. Okay, great. It should be his nickname. Uh, I still root for okay. the Chiefs. Are you? Yeah. All right. So the world's greatest dad here, Julie Julie Burton, who's KSU Julie, the world's biggest Chiefs fan, um, and Mary Williams, and the My New Dad tier, Monica. Thank you, Thank everybody, you so for all your contributions. Please, uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to give us some money to keep this thing going, go to Apple, subscribe and rate. Yeah. Go to uh, YouTube, leave comments wherever you can do, and follow me on Instagram and uh, TikTok. Really, TikTok chapstick. If you're not going to be chapstick. a lot of podcast content on TikTok, I'll tell you that. But if you want to talk about the podcast and and respond to our top my topic prompts, yeah, uh, it's all Instagram, baby. All right, all With right. That- so this week. What are we talking about? We're talking about what you miss most from your pre-parent life. Ugh. I asked people, everything? and they responded. Yeah, they well, responded. There was a handful everything. of responses. Was yeah. everything? Yeah. Um, we're gonna get into it. There's some major categories: body, mind, yep, sleep, yep, money. Well, mind. 
Yeah, I lost my mind. Sanity, many, sure, long time sure. Ago. That didn't come up. That huh? one didn't come up. Like the sanity just, thing. Yeah, I mean, well, it's tied into sleep, really. Well, we're gonna get into what's tied into what. <laughs> no, that's a different episode. No one that's knows what that means. that's our S and M podcast. What? What? Okay. That we well, do under pseudonyms. What would your S and M pseudonym that, be? Our conversation earlier was a podcast. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> I thought that was just you and me opening up. No. I was opening up like a is, flower to the you. The safe word is, uh, is vomit bowl. Is it? Yeah. What about pine cones? Wait, is that a safe word in something? Yeah. That's what? our friend Tim's safe word. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can't wait to whip that out on him. Yeah. I mean, just the word. Just the word. <laughs> okay. As long as he says the word. All right. Well, I'm sure there's no pine greater cones. chance that he'll say pine cones if you whip it out <laughs> on him. <laughs> Trust us. Do it at Hulahan, 34th Street, Penn Station. Well, that's where that's I always place, do it. Tell Tim to meet me there. That's the place to whip He should out. know my routine by now. There you Let's go. be honest. We've known each other for a long time. All right, so we're going to be talking about what you miss most from your pre-parent life. Right after this. Um, yeah, pine cones will not be involved. Thank you. All right, as promised, this week's episode is what did you miss most or what do you miss most about your pre-parent life? I had the conversation with somebody over the weekend that gave me the idea. Um, and then I do want to do a follow-up episode, which is what do you like most about being a parent? Oh. A little bit out of character okay. for that one. That, I don't know if this is on brand. It's a little well, off that's brand. What, you know what? We'll make it on brand. Okay. Don't worry. I don't, happy, know if I don't know if that'll be next week or the week after, but I guess it could be next week. Happy Thoughts About Parenting by Dad and Buried. The Dad and Buried. The Dad and Buried on, on TikTok. TikTok. Exactly. With over 13? 11. Who knows? You said that 11 earlier. You know what? I did. But let me just double check. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. I'm going to look at TikTok. Can I tell you? Everybody on TikTok, all they do is lip sync to things. Yeah, dude. Because that's I didn't what know that TikTok what it was. Is. I thought it was more like Vine. No, it's, it's like 14 followers. dancing. Believe me, my 12-year-old is on it. Um, by the way, another episode we're going to do is social media. Social media and kids. And kids. Yeah. So, oh, funny. So, TikTok. There's you a, don't there's stop. A, there's, <laughs> please don't. Speaking of social media and TikTok, there's a watch uh, company or called My TikTok, T-I-K-T-A-L-K, and they sent me... Um, a watch for my son and okay. it's like a social media watch that allows you to it's got gps on it to so post you track nudes. your kids to post nudes yeah, obviously. yeah obviously of your kid he wears it it connects to, to either your phone plan you can with at&t you can put it in your phone plan or they give you separate monthly sim card and stuff that you do that Perfect. shit on <laughs> that's what i want but I want it the allows one. it allows the kid to call or to facetime or to text when he's on his way or if he's running late or whatever hold on a second can I just stop you there? Which sounds like a great product. It is what's a great product. What's the age range? Can I can I just say what's the age I range? I think it's probably like four to twelve. I don't four? know. Four. Yeah, I don't know. It just but if, even if it's four, if they don't know how to use it, it still tells you where right. they're at, okay. right? So that's okay. useful. Um, and the texting is very helpful because I can text him, it but he is. just wants to call. So he will call, and usually he'll call, and I'll answer the phone and go, it's your conscience. <laughs> this is his joke. <laughs> That's what he says. That's what he's, it's not exactly how he sounds, but he tries Forget. to use a, a fake voice and say, okay. this is your conscience. All right. But he always calls. So in the morning, I drop him at the bus. He gets on the bus. He drives away. Oh, but they don't know he's calling because he's Dick Tracy calling from no, his no, no, phone. No, 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 no. Well, no, no, no. He, he, I t you can set it. I have it turned off, so he can't use it during the school day. Ah. So from like 8.30 to 3, okay, he can't use good. it. That's so good. it's when he's on the bus. Yeah. But he'll always call me when he's like on the bus in the morning just going to school because he likes having a gadget. Right. So he'll call me, and I'll be on the subway, or he'll call me, and I'll be at work, depending on how early I got in. Or when he gets out of school, I'm still at work, and he'll right. call me at work. I'm like, God damn it. You're going to get me How'd fired. How would you get this number? <laughs> exactly. I'm in a huge meeting. You can meeting. set the people who can contact him and stuff, but I really like it because – Especially when I was staying at home, and now yep. my wife is going to be back home working, um, or back home, and checking to see like where's the bus. I think she'll be working. Is she going to be you know, yeah. stay at home moms? Do yeah. a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, the job of several people actually. As we, as we, as you know, 
all too well, except As when for, I was a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. So let's get back. I to did when, less than her because I was terrible at it and very lazy. Let's get back to the fact that you're in a meeting, projecting your watch onto the onto screen, the screen, and, and your suddenly son's, son's yeah. face pops up. And I am your so conscience. So, in conclusion, everybody around the board table, I just want to say. That, this is your conscience yeah so then all of a sudden oh so you're, you're fucking, saying i'm saying that and then it interrupts my big no s- i'm my you're giving you're speech. giving a yeah. presentation yeah. and the next thing you know your son is interrupting with like yes. hey your butt smells yeah i don't usually project my watch onto the screen but you know i what? guess theoretically this you would should work. anyway so my wife when she's at home or i we can see like where the bus is and we have to run to get it, meet him at the bus stop, which is like a Actually, block away. T- or that, can we wait? That's huge. It is huge. It's annoying to have to get. I, we're this close to him being able to walk home on his own. Yeah. And even then, that'll be valuable. Being like, let us know when you get off the bus. Right. And that kind of shit. So. Why are you in North Virginia? Oh, on West, the GPS. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Amber Uh-oh. alert. Burp, burp, burp. Is that what's what, happening there? Burp. The, the, I get more burp. flash flood alerts than Amber alerts. <laughs> I know. Well, that's not a funny thing to say, but we. Uh, <laughs> it was a funny thing to say. There, uh, well, I'm just saying. No one died in the ones that I was getting. Really? The I flash flood? I didn't double check. It was a fucking joke. I know. The one, um, there have been at least five. Did you hear the one, the most recent Amber Did you alert? hear the one? Did you hear the Amber Alert about the. They caught the, They caught them. <laughs> yeah, I did because the, the couple like ch- chased them yep, down. Yeah, they I chased that. them down. That's why they work on your phone, on your wrist, whatever. Yeah. And by the way, Got the GPS, but it's like low jack for your kids. It's very handy, and he loves having a I gadget. I just want and a subcutaneous. And Why can't you just put it well, on this? That's coming, like like the pet store, the, like the veterinarian does for yeah. you. That's coming. That's coming. I feel like I have one too. My parents. So one of the th- it's funny that you say that because one of the things that came up was people were like, I miss like not having the anxiety or the responsibility for another human being. So right. on the list of what do you miss most about your life, a handful of people were right. like, I used to just be able to think about myself, I don't and now care. I'm constantly worried about my right. kids. Or to put it another way, I don't give a fuck about other, anyone else but me. Yeah. And now I have, I have to, like, to, yeah. deal Pret- with this. Now I have to pretend I, I have care. to deal with yeah. this whole So situation. it's funny because you weren't super keen on this topic. You were like, no, I don't think so. And I said, it's my fucking name on the podcast. <laughs> what I say goes. And then I said, is that right? Yes, I and think you, so. Yeah, okay, good point. I'm changing my name to Dad and Barry, <laughs> my last name. <laughs> so, so that's a good point. Ironclad. But here, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking it was a little bit like Mondays, right? Monday oh, mornings. Oh, sure. But people, you know, like a little but people like obvious. to rant a little bit. Okay. I All like right, to so rant. we're going to so do... R.L. Krauss All right. messaged me and said, I love this topic, and it feels like no one will admit anything before children is worthy of mention. Because, see, no one's going to admit that they missed anything from their pre-parent life because, he says, all things child-related should supersede your past right. indulgences. Oh, People are going to be sanctimonious about it. Here's the, the thing for R.L. Krauss. This is not that kind of podcast. No. We don't have those kind of listeners. I don't Sorry, have those kind of followers. I've weeded them out over the years. People were not shy about telling what they like or what they miss about their pre-parent life. Um, and we got into it. A handful of people, like Pete, joked when I messaged it to him, they're just going to say everything. Yeah. Sure, and Boy, a lot of them did say everything. That person really stumbled into the wrong. <laughs> yeah. bar. Well, no, yeah. Well, R.L. Krauss, wrong maybe he hasn't podcast. listened. Maybe, maybe he hasn't been around that long. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we, no holds barred you know here. What? Maybe and people maybe know. they were looking for mom and buried. She is a little bit sweeter. Oh, that's true. The the sweetness to my sour. Is that the it? Yuck to your yum. Ew, yum, yum, yum. No. So uh, KML218 was one of those people that basically said everything. She said, I love my kids, but this is too easy. Among the things she misses, watching, watching something other than Daniel Tiger, showering before noon, not finding random shit in my purse, money, eating at restaurants, being able to stay awake past, stay awake past 10 p.m. With 5 a.m. without 5 a.m. wake-up consequences. Can we – all right. Let's, st- let's stop there. A lot of these things get touched on later in the, in the I get, I list. Want to th- the, it's – you know, there's one thing about like I just want to go out at night. We rarely are we talking about the morning where you got to wake up, mm-hmm. you come home, you pay the babysitter, you've had one or five too many or mm-hmm. just twenty, doesn't matter. And you're, and you know you're continuing to drink. Yeah, and you continue <laughs> to drink because guess what? You're trying to have a good time. Yeah, exactly. This then is your you house. Wake up, America. Yeah, this is America. It's your house. Maybe it's not your house. Maybe it's someone Maybe else's it house. Are Guess your what? kids there? Who Still cares? America. Someone else's house, and it's America. Guess what? You wake Probably up. Florida. Their kids are waking you up. It's annoying, 
And then a lawsuit implies, and then you have McDonald's, and then you go back and you salute the flag and you go right back. I don't even know what happened there. No. You're saying people don't talk about the morning after? The, the, the wake up. It's just not it's hell. there. What no, you it's need you is need to a, wake a few up more hours of with sleep. no kids. Yeah. That's well, a, when you should. What you should really do is get a babysitter in the morning. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. A double babysitter because shift. Because almost every hangover is I, cured I, by, by more way, sleep, right? So if I you were able to get that. more sleep, the odds that your hangover is going to be less or gone yeah. is are much higher. But you got kids. You got to get up. You got to deal with them. You got to feed would, them. Right, change their butts. How about this? Change their butts. Okay. What about when you were before kids? What was your hangover solution? Um, just g- walk us through. Walk me through. What um, would you it's do? not legal in this state, so okay. I'd rather not. Say. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Once you kick the other guy out, Bloody Mary. Okay. Or another a hair of the dog, yeah. or just sleeping all day. You're waking up. Or at the f- you're waking up at two. Uh, right. Aforementioned illegal substance. You're, you're waking up at two. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then immediately, either having the, the you maybe grossest, wait an hour. Yeah, yeah you eat some you bullshit eat food. The yeah. grossest thing, like you, you mentioned, McDonald's, eat. perhaps. Right. Just to get you back to a point equilibrium, and then you get, and then of course you're back with a with couple a couple hours Mary. later. You're like, oh, I'm drinking. Yeah, yeah it's four o'clock. Do this. Oh wait, yeah. you don't serve Bloody Marys at four o'clock. What the fuck is wrong with this place? Just give me the shot of vodka. And you're pissed, and you're like, fine. What about a tequila soda? I don't drink tequila. Did you know that? You know what? We I just don't like we it. never came up. So it yes, drinking, we missed that. And like she said, the early wake up consequences, whether you are, are just tired or whether you are hungover, getting woken up like that um, when you have kids. When sucks. you have kids, here's what happens: five forty-five, a sharp fingernail will separate. Yeah, you your always do this. Eyelid yes. and <laughs> poke your eyeball. At which point you're like, ah, I think I'm. A... But of course you can't speak because you're so hungover My and tired. Toddler. <laughs> And then you go upstairs, and then you put on the TV where you pass out, and Daniel Tiger. Well, that's what she or, mentioned. She wants to watch something. Or Caillou. Or Caillou. Caillou. I've never seen it. Caillou. Bitch about it all the time. Just, never seen what it. A, what a back. So oh, my toddler way, comes into the room and up? demands mini muffins, and he will just say it over and over and over until Doesn't you fucking Doesn't he know get where it. the fucking mini muffins are? He can't are? reach them, but we usually put them on the counter. Just like, you know what? Or we make his older up. brother. Make his older brother. Yeah, if you snort the mini muffins, they get in your bloodstream faster. Yeah. I should tell him that. <laughs> so mom gone mad said, I missed my job, traveling, going to the toilet alone, ordering junk food, eating out. And she left an ellipsis, you know, the three dots, as if to imply she could go on and on and on. Coco J says, solitude, sleep, bathroom alone time, silence, swearing. Now swearing, you can still swear. You you, you glossed over bathroom alone time. Well, no, I'm going to get it. Well, I guess it wasn't a category, but... Really? Um, Honestly, it is important. For fuck's sake, can I just have literally five minutes alone to scroll like, my phone? Except for you, who welcomes an o- I you have lo- a very, open, you have an door, open policy, door policy. Yeah. Hey, you know this is happening. It's called nature. It's called except for the it's human called, body is beautiful. <laughs> is everything that has happening is natural? Yeah. So you throwing up at the sight of me doing. What I had I'm to doing change your butts, natural. and I had to deal with that fucking visceral experience. But now Dad, here's why do you yours. have to sit like that on the toilet, like birdie? Why did you lock us in? I have one of those buzzers, like Matt Lauer. If you come into the bathroom, I hit the thing so they can't get out, just <laughs> so they have to be in there with me. What well, is happening? Experiencing it. I just referenced Matt Lauer. Tight. Good, good reference, Hashtag by the me way. too. Was it? It was a deep pull. You know what? It was a deep cut. I liked it. Reed, <clears throat> Reed J. Carr underscore says miss, he misses or she misses vacations without bedtime, sleep, nice clothes, quiet. All right. Let's talk about this. Vacations without yeah, bedtime. Yeah, well. Listen. Oh, how about let's, hey, uh, let's get out. You know what? Let's go away. We've had such a tough, let's go away. Let's get a hotel room. How many hotels? Well, we're going to get one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all. That's fucking not a vacation, motherfuckers. And I'm saying this to the... Like, You're saying when I'm you saying have kids, you have everybody any, in the one room. Yeah, everyone's yeah. in the one room. Yeah. Oh, what are you going to do? How can you snort cocaine? It's hard. <laughs> Underneath the mattresses, it's just one hard. Time it just gets everywhere. We put. We were at a shitty hotel. We were just like staying overnight. Like on, a, I don't know, we were on a road trip. And we had the pack and play. And because we went, like we knew our nine-year-old would fall asleep and he sleeps right. through anything, right? Um, but the toddler right. or the baby at the time yeah, would wake up, would wake up that we couldn't watch a movie, right? right. right? Um, and we just wanted to. We were in the same room with them all, so we put the pack and play perched on the tub yep. in the bathroom because it's the only way it would fit. So precarious. A little precarious. You know what? But you know what? He's fine. Little plastic, Black guy, who cares? Little plastic on uh, ceramic. 
fine. As long no, as we it didn't doesn't cover it with anything. No, I'm just saying, like. Oh yeah, the, 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 the slippy, slimy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as he doesn't move around too much, I'm sure it was fine. Well, it was fine. You know what? Um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We told him the next day. But also gives you a bit of a problem with your well, shoulder. He looks like never sloth put. from Goonies now. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? He's but you lovable, know what? more lovable than ever. And he says, he often says, hey, you guys. He does all the time. <laughs> so sweet Melissa 7877 says she misses going to the bathroom by herself, not hearing mommy, uh, being called all the fucking time. She says all the forking time. What is this? The good place? You have no idea what I'm talking about. Nope. Especially while dad is closer. So this is a mom-centric gripe. Money, all the money. Kids need new clothes every season. All the school trips and lunches to pay for. Yeah, it right. never ends. You're bleeding money. So Can this just, is a bunch with, of people the, who summarize the, a lot of the frustrations they have. But with clothes, though, that shouldn't be. Well, he, Pete just gave me a bag of hand-me-downs as they are, as he and his I wife mean, graciously on, do let's, let's, once every month or so. Let's, let's do, we have way too many clothes. Oh, and by the way, we we get our clothes. I, I don't think we've purchased and, except yeah. for my 12-year-old now, which now we're starting to get one, into yeah. it. Yeah, my, she, now she oldest. wants to buy real things. She's yeah. starting to buy her own clothes, but Ooh. we have we have not bought clothes because of hand me downs. We just we'll take from your brother's family from my brother, whether he knows about it or, or not. not. Yeah, whenever you he, visit, he a just lot, yanks some sometimes stuff from the he's like, "Hey, have you ever seen, did you see a sweatshirt?" No, I don't. Oh, man, I don't know what you're talking about. It's so weird. You took it just yeah. for you you took you stole some hand-me-downs yeah. from your older brother and he's like, because it's weird because i saw you in that in that sweatshirt and <laughs> is was, he bigger than you is it like it was, real tight on yeah, you yeah it was our it was my middle daughter's sweatshirt it was tiny oh on my you. God. And i was like but i feel like i just feel more comfortable in it you know what i mean you know mike i'm gonna need your vomit bowl just thinking about that visual you and your middle daughters Are you? or your brother's middle, middle daughter yeah. how many kids does he have three did you ask him what he misses about his pre-parent life does nah. he subscribe no nah. No, I didn't My get around to it. My brother subscribes, and he and he tells me that I swear too much. You know what? Fuck that. That's <laughs> not true. So I I asked people, um, and then I went through and I tabulated like what were the biggest responses. You right? tabulated I did a little bit. Is this big data coming? The out? number one response was sleep. People missed sleep. The number two response, which was very close behind, was uh, spontaneity slash freedom. Being able to do oh stuff whenever God, you want yes. and being able to do whatever you want whenever All you right. want to. And number three was solitude. Just having some alone time, some time to yourself. I just, I, but, okay. So sleep, clearly, we've talked about this. Geneva Convention, you can't, sleep deprivation is an actual form of torture. We know so, this. So, and so this is what your kids will do to you for, what, a year, two years? No, we I don't think know. it's forever. Not, yeah, okay, maybe. I really think it is. Like, my parents will stay up when I go visit them, and they'll stay up in the middle until I get home. Really? Yeah. But they I'm sleep to find, when you're not oh, there. Sure. And so, what, that's what's so good about you not being there. Lucky Stars 4583 says, sleep hands down. There's no catching up ever. So a couple no. of the most yeah. – Couple of like the or one of the early kind of popular articles I had on my blog was called the real reasons reason parents are always tired and it's not because of being woken up and stuff it's because you never have recovery time there's never a day where you get to sleep in and you get right. to like recover from the last day every single day right. especially when you have a baby and then you have another kid it's just if you go to bed at one you're you're still getting up at fucking five or waking up a couple times in the middle right. night or whatever every day that never changes and right. just once you lose those hours you can never get them back and it just accumulates and yep. accumulates and accumulates but i mean all right because well, you can't bank and you and then one of the dumbest pieces of advice people say before oh, and is you gotta get as much sleep as you can if you're now. fucking listening to this and you don't have kids if someone says like oh bank sleep now tell them fuck you i'm going out I'm doing a binge, yeah. and I'm well, going to be back let in me 14 tell you this. days, and I don't know There's what's going to happen. There's two reasons they That's might be what saying you need that, to do. And, and one of them, and 95% yeah. of the time they're saying it because they're saying you got to catch up because you're not going to be able to get that sleep. Hold on. But if they're saying get as much sleep as you can now because you're going to miss it, I can appreciate that being like, man, I love sleep so much. I really should – like indulge right now well, of course, when I can. But of I know, but that's not what they're saying. They're, they're saying, saying you that. need to bank sleep. They, well, no, they're saying, I mean, I would imagine it's one and the same, meaning, no. yes, enjoy your sleep while you can because sure. it's a very patronizing thing but to say. most of the time they're not. The point is, is a threat, you know what? Though. Yeah, exactly. Just enjoy your fucking life. If here's, you are in your third trimester, here's what you need to do. Go out to eat as much as possible. You need to um, both do whatever you want to do each separately and individually <laughs> yeah, right, as sure. much as possible 
And then, because when it fucking Hold hammer on. comes, I have a different approach comes. about the sleep thing, and I've given this advice, okay. and I posted it once on my Facebook. You shouldn't tell people to catch up on sleep. You should tell people get used to not having sleep, right? So you say, hey, fucking, just go out, right? Fucking pull the Navy SEAL routine, go right. three days without getting any sleep, you get better at it because your rest of your life there you're you going go. to have to function, you're going to have to be go. able to have fun, you're going to have to be able to go out, you're going to have to be able to do your job, you're going to be able to take it. care of your kids that's, when you're exhausted. That's so you advice. need to prepare. That's the you right advice. You can't bank sleep. What you got to do is you need to train you yourself to, to deal with it. Out. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there not enough fucking drugs for you? Well, guess what? <laughs> go out and buy some Get fucking some fucking more. more drugs. God, it's not that hard. Motherfucker. That is go. legitimately good Get advice. There. It is actionable. You on a, uh, you, I would, can give you some names. Come back at give six. You, some names. <laughs> you get f- half an hour of sleep. And guess what? You get your ass back yeah, out there. Exactly. And you find My that God. fucking dog. And you just fucking go. And you know what? If you're Balls you don't know, to the wall. Yeah. The better you, the more you do it, the better equipped you'll be to be a fucking parent. You know why? And to function because half decently. no one can be better at being hungover like massively hungover than I am currently. I'm actually the right world's now, hungover really championship. Hungover. Was it like man hangover? No, meaning... So women, do women, like the man flu? Do women get mad if men no, indulge their hangovers? No, I'm sort of... I'm going the opposite way, meaning if it's... I'll have gone to bed at 4.30, I'll wake up at 6, and then I'll be like, all right, who wants breakfast? And I'll be doing breakfast, and we'll go to the park, and then we'll do this, and we'll do that, and then I'll come home... And then I'll just collapse into uh-huh. my own skin. So my bones will dissolve. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. That's gross. Yeah, well, that's what happens. But <laughs> I, not before I put on Daniel Tiger. Yeah, for yeah. six straight hours. For seven, just seven. Just until Bloody Mary time. And my 12-year-old's like, what the fuck is this shit? And I'm like, Ugh. So you. before, so we, we so uh, there was another comment on the sleep one. Um, well, somebody okay. said, you, if only I had, appre- Little Charmer 80 said, if only I had appreciated it, I miss sleep so much, right? Can and that's we, the thing, you don't really appreciate it. You don't realize. But can I go back, actually, so sleep, quite honestly, it's a little bit like Monday mornings, right? <laughs> yeah. You so, already made that joke. Okay. I'm Earlier, making it, the, the I'm making the, it again. I'm making it show. again. Making it again. So. Uh, <laughs> Is that your Trump impression? Yeah, that's my Trump. Okay. I'll make it it's again. Not, it's not bad. All right. It's better Good. than Colbert's, which I fucking hate. I hate it. It's it's a perfect joke. It was perfect at the beginning. It's perfect. Release now. the transcripts. So, <clears throat> the one we didn't talk about is spontaneity. Well, and we haven't freedom. gotten to it yet. There's a whole fucking section on it. You know, we're doing a podcast, right? We're not ending it right now. You were acting like that was the end. We talked about one topic. I'm segueing. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, Do you listen, want to skip? I'm on a segue. No, well, let's not. All right, fine. Let's and go. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to this order. It's just really hard to, to transcribe these things. So I just nah, reckon. Right all right, well. You, it's backbreaking. Why don't we do, yeah, let's go to fucking, here's the thing. I think it's really about. Go to the big boys. Yeah, Fine. let's go to the big spontaneity. boys. Spontaneity. Spontaneity. Shoop Wood says, says she misses spontaneous anything, and that's the thing. That's Every other here, there's some more specific examples, but all you need to know is you were never, ever doing anything in the spur of the moment ever, ever. again. You ever. have to consider. Ever. All of your kids. You Ever. have to consider what you're going to bring. You have to consider how much time you're you have thinking about to be shit in advance. Oh my god! It's a nightmare. Oh my god! And then we can get out. Oh, and then we can be like spontaneous for 45 minutes yeah, because yeah, yeah. after 45 minutes we should really factor in traffic to get back and want to do this. And, or even if oh, you have a drop-off birthday party, do do we do we have to pay the babysitter? Do they take cash or Venmo or what do we do? So oh, okay, Casey so Horrell. So actually, you know what? We have 20 minutes to be spontaneous. Go. Says she it. misses the ability to do anything without figuring out who will watch the kids, right? So either you're bringing the kids with you, which requires a whole different level of planning and all this shit you have to schlep around and carry and all this junk and which car are we taking? And I got to move the fucking car seat. God damn it. But if you are going somewhere without the kids, you can't even do that. The first thing you have to do is secure a babysitter. And a lot of times you will try to make a reservation somewhere and then you'll try to get a babysitter and you waited too long and you're like, shit. And, and you're you like, try to get somebody to help. Can we do a babysitter uh, swap? I'll watch your kids next week if you yeah. watch mine. And quite honestly, you know what? Lassie is not a babysitter. No. I tried to do the collie thing. Like, she's pretty smart. Train she's the collie. A, yeah, yeah. Pretty smart. About as smart as a fifth grader. I've got true? a fourth grader. Yeah, they can get as smart as a fifth grader. <laughs> I've got a fourth I find that grader. Very funny. So maybe they can just kind of circle the kids yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like a border collie, like, just keep them in the if pen. If anything, like if a fire starts, they just go out and start barking. Can C A N N one C E? I don't know if it can once. Wouldn't it be can this with the one? Maybe I typed it wrong. I don't know. Get back to us. It says quickly leaving the house to do anything is what she misses the most. Deeds. 
which is deed 4 z says being spontaneous going out whenever i wanted especially last minute plans there's no last minute plans anymore my man unless you live around family that you can like drop the kids off at the last second or something like that and there are people that yeah. do have the benefit of family nearby and if you, or they have big families yeah. that they could just they have and a if lot you of do that's lean on. absolutely amazing but also i hate you we we collectively hate you yes 100 percent. the dad bad. and buried podcast uh, hates, hates you. you if you have family <laughs> we should send a certificate if we, you have a wonderful family that yeah, you're that allowed to you drop can lean your on. family yeah, yeah. you have free babysitting yeah, yeah, we yeah, did yeah. a whole episode on this and, and by the you way make us sick with envy with envy that's right um but i i still remember the time i can't do you remember two, the time? i think it was no it was we three years <clears throat> No, no one no. wants. No one. No one wants that. that. Somebody no. does. There was. It was three years ago. My wife and I. It was. I think for my birthday, uh, we got away and uh, went to. Uh, we go to a, a hotel, a different hotel in the city, mm-hmm. so we don't have to travel anywhere. The hat. The hat. Don't say that. I call I'll punch hat. you in the throat. Well, let's hear it. It's let's called Manhattan it. It's City. It's called the hat. It's called Manhattan <laughs> City. <laughs> Hit me. Come on. And uh, we would go. We go. We went one. No, one I time. meant hit me. Punch me. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, my parents, who were watching the kids, actually said, you know what? Like, we got them to, like, oh, three. Yeah. And, you know, we were up, of course, because we were up naturally, like, whatever, 10 o'clock in the morning. We were ready to kind of go out. And we were about to, like, go home. And then we said, "What? why are we going home? Why right. don't we just go to, like, let's go to a gallery or something. Let's do some museum. Let's go to a gallery, man. Let's hit let's something. Do, let's do some museum hopping. Guess what? To this, like, I remember it vividly because of for the past 13 years, it was the time that Your we were Your parents watched the kids? No, that we, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, mom and dad, let's pick it up. But uh, no, that we were able to be spontaneous in that parenting moment. Well, that's, you know what? We were able to just walk moment. around yeah. for like three hours. We Amazing. still we still went home at like yeah, one. Yeah, right. Because like you don't know what to do with yourself yeah. anymore. Because then after You're a while, too tired. no. Well, eventually we got into. You can't bank We got into an argument, argument <laughs> eventually. Yeah. Let's get don't the kids worry. back. Yeah, yeah, eventually it was like let's get the what? kids back so we don't have to deal with each uh, other. Let's go. Um, sale nine six seven one zero says I miss the ability to drop anything and go anywhere without finding a sitter or waiting for the kid to put their fucking shoes on. Football TNT football TNT mom says I miss the ability to have less structured time spontaneity with my weekend and after work. So that's the thing, right? Again, like you need to have something planned for the kids. You can't just lounge around and laze around. Or how about like uh, you do that, and at the end of the day, the kids are going stir crazy and they're bouncing off the walls because they didn't yeah. get any of the energy out. My wife is constantly getting mad at me about that because I like a good lazy day, but it oh, always backfires. I'm, you know, the one thing is I will get these monsters I know, get out, of the out of the house by nine like thirty. They're out. And we're doing something. I'll take them anywhere. I'll take all of them anywhere. You're amazing. Come back. An amazing dad, Pete. Come back at 2.30. Guess what time it is? Bloody Mary time? Bedtime. <laughs> yeah. It's a bedtime countdown. Sorry, kids. Sorry, mother. So Gracious. everybody is, all these people said the same thing. House of Happy Homer says, the ability to come and go as I please without having to, without having to pull some crazy logistics magic. Exactly. And C.R. Wilkinson says, I just miss spontaneous fun, whether it's drinks, taking a walk, <laughs> going on vacation, having dinner, having company over, whatever. That's all gone. It yeah. is so hard to find. It's all scheduled. To make, yeah, you need, just it's need to have scheduled. everything scheduled. You know what? You Second can't do piece anything of advice, on a whim. outside of go out and do a Coke binge for 42 hours. To prep yourself. Second one. 42 hours? Why not? <laughs> Yeah, come back at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the this didn't make day. any sense. Uh, just get a. You got to be good at planning. You got to be good well, at scheduling not me. and organizing. It's not me. That's my wife comes in. Yeah. So vacation and travel was another big one, and I definitely can vouch for that, right? So DJ Evo JK Son says the misses the ability to travel whenever I felt like it. That's all gone. This is my jam. Says I miss money and traveling easily. Going to your like going on to the airport is a hassle no matter what nowadays post nine eleven. Bring in your kids. You got a stroller. You may have a fucking car seat if you're if you're a psychopath. You may have you have all these luggage. Yeah. You're carrying a baby. Oh my god, it's hell on earth. You have to get there so early. You have yeah. to pack so much. You're going traveling with kids. You have to have your diapers. You have to have extra pairs of clothes for all these kids. I, it makes me fucking stressed you out know just what? talking about it. You know what I do now with my twelve year old. I pack my diapers in her bag. Oh, well, that's good thinking. And then I let her, fight. You know, when she opens it, what the hell? 
is and this? There's like triple and capacity like, in hey, those things too. Guess what? When you gotta go, you can really go, just like NASA scientists driving so, cross country. Becca for real says she misses last minute travel and plans. So this combining the spontaneity and the travel thing. She's like, I don't live near family, so no overnight trips without the kids, right? So even trying to get away for a weekend can be really hard unless you have the benefit of family. And there were a couple of times I was able to do that. Yeah. A few years ago before I had two kids and before my parents got a little bit older and before there were babies around that were more exciting to them. Oh. My brother, my brother's, uh, you know my what? nieces. Shout out to your brother for having much more cute kids than well, yours. They're younger and therefore they're cuter. Well, they don't do anything. You're right. And guess what? Your kids do everything. They do way too much. Let's um, be honest about it. Yeah. So the next big category was um, solitude. That was the number three, right? So we did sleep. We did spontaneity that went into travel. Um, and we did solitude. So, um, Solitude and not and 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 the next bit of the solitude and freedom slash um, having free time right so solitude I think is a very big thing for moms um, especially if they're a stay at home mom because yeah. there's always a kid around and they're trying to take a shower it happens to all parents but yeah. I think for moms or this, for a stay at home parent in general it's worse because yeah. you never have there's never a time where like a kid's not there if you have a right. young kid and he's not in pre-k or daycare yet if you have an older kid he gets home from school maybe you have a couple hours if you're right. lucky but right. i for one really like some solitude and it's tough it's tough to get that even when you're married sometimes but when you're married and you have kids what it's all gone a lot of people don't realize is your job ends at 2 30 yeah yeah and you four get hours yeah, yeah. <laughs> just spend four just hours by myself riding the d train exactly Brogan Millet says, I miss being able to relax whenever I want. Now I have to wait till they're sleeping to relax. So I posted a meme. Right. I had a meme that gets stolen all the time, like copied, and they put their own watermark on it and shit. That was um, parenting is an eternal struggle between um, staying up late to get some alone time or going to bed early to catch up on your sleep. I said that exact same thing to you, you on your birthday <laughs> party four years ago, you son of a bitch. Um, but I, I don't remember what the, to but the poll results were, but it's a big struggle you turn into you a poll always i made that a poll you almost always for me i'll choose alone time i want to have those minutes when my kids are asleep and i go watch something by myself or i can just listen to me the other night i was I, I'm, I'm doing dry january yeah. i just my wife was out the kids yeah. were asleep yeah. i was just sitting in my living room in the dark listening to radiohead <laughs> i don't know if that's healthy but it was enjoyable i enjoyed those the hour or two by um, myself before i went to bed yeah, no, it is... It's precious. Yeah, it is precious, for sure. What's that? Um, if I could sit time in a bottle. I, I don't know what that even... It <laughs> is was it, just like a... It's a song, Time in a Bottle. Oh, King Henry VIII made this? Was no, it, was it was Jim Croce? Is that who it is? Is it Jim Croce or Fred Croce? <clears throat> I can't no, remember. Nobody even... Oh, really come on. He's got a couple of good songs. Anyway, Duds, Duds Mum says she wishes she had some solitude so she could read a book. Once in a while, I read on the train. This is the only time I'm able to during my commute to work. Krista Monique says, not having a tiny person talking at me all day. Yeah. This yeah. is what I'm talking about. Yeah. It can be very annoying yeah. to have a, a little kid, a hyena, at your knees. I I got home tonight. I walked in the door. Uh, both my son and my, my youngest son and my middle daughter were having a great time. And it immediately turned into wrestling. Between you and them, or just no, them and them? No, between them and them. And I'm, I'm trying to get ready. I'm getting the stuff so we can go and record this and yeah. get it, get out the door. My middle daughter comes home. I'm up. I we're talking. It's been maybe two and a half minutes since I got home. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Okay, cool. Like doing this. They're now wrestling yeah. and wrestling. The babysitter is still there. The oh. wrestling has now turned into screaming. I'm coming up the stairs. My my oldest daughter has come home with my wife and now I'm at the top of the stairs with holding all the equipment and bags and stuff. And <clears throat> now everyone's yelling. Every single person. <laughs> every, in the house. every single person That's in what the happens. house it's contagious. Is yelling at each other. Stop yelling. You stop yelling. No, you stop yelling. You stop yelling. And I'm like <laughs> See this happens I'm to just me. like, can I I'm just gonna Every day gonna so I work from out. home today and as soon as my yeah nine-year-old gets home from school he starts going at his yeah. little brother immediately and then i start yelling at them yeah. and if mama buried home she starts yelling at me for yelling at them right. and it's just a chain reaction it's a it's, it's an absolute just like nightmare. Adam this Bond is why i would rather yelling. live by myself and not have a wife or family 
Why? This is what I'm saying. You know what? I want to be like, I'm going to my own apartment. Yeah, in the city, a, in yeah, the hat. <laughs> exactly. I'll but be back. But how will we reach you? Uh, you won't. Phone. Yeah, I, I lost my phone. I lost my phone. Yeah. Um, so another big theme was freedom slash less responsibility. Um, and I got to say the anxiety that and the stress that come with, like we were talking about earlier, having to worry about like where your kids are, who's watching them, are they home safe? Um, are they going to get into a good college? You know, it even goes that far sometimes. Well, here's what I would. Yes. I mean, sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're worried. Sometimes you're like a little <laughs> less worried than other times. Sometimes you're like, hey, you know what? Sometimes you say like, don't play in the street a little yeah, less yeah, loudly yeah. than you may, might. Yeah, just see what happens. Kind of just roll the dice. As a, as a roll. As a, it's like, all God's plan. Yeah. As they like, ah, screw you. I'm going on the street. Oh, be careful. Like Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. No, stop. No, don't. don't do that. Be careful. <laughs> um, but I think what is, you know, it, what you do think about, or certainly as a dad, um, who is, uh, um, you know, financially responsible for our family. Well, is okay. like a little retrograde, but okay. Okay, really. Don Draper. Well, that's, that's the current situation. <laughs> is very much like, okay, I got to really like make sure shit goes right yeah, otherwise man. there go everyone's gonna be out bad, on the street right? yeah and the i kids mean you're gonna be destitute well you you had the most recent experience yeah yeah this, i was unemployed serious. and it was yeah it was challenging it was that's terrifying horrible. um and but the, thankfully my kids are way too stupid to make it to any good college i don't have to worry about that that's off my plate but also as they say also <laughs> they absolutely love goldfish and that's they do what they love ate goldfish. for seven months exactly <laughs> and they're thriving they're not thriving. not the goldfish that you're thinking no of. live goldfish live they got a frat you yep. have to swallow the whole yep. goldfish. Like a koi. No, and the, they call it and like the plastic a koi. Bag. When it becomes a koi fish. Did you ever get one of those when plastic bag goldfish? When does a goldfish, goldfish become a koi? When I don't a... fucking have any idea. When does a goldfish become a koi? I don't when know. They're the same thing. It's just a big goldfish. I have no fucking insight into this topic. I just came up with it now, and I'm like, I want to look it up. I want to stop this podcast and look so, at it. So Kyla Myers 80 says she misses being able to do whatever I want when I want. Alice Metzo says I miss the possibility of endless sprawling hours of freedom. <laughs> it just sounds like a yeah. fantasy, doesn't it? Kelbrett 636, I, I miss having time and doing with, with it whatever I want. Right. Guess what? Not doing that anymore. Nope. You got to carve out a half an hour, an hour if you're lucky. If you're lucky, it's before the kids. It's before uh, midnight. Do you know that I, I scheduled, I tried to schedule drinks with someone, and it took like three weeks. To figure it out. Three To make it weeks. happen or to schedule it. Just to, to meet the person. To, I haven't met them yet. It's oh. still ongoing, yeah. and the schedule keeps changing. Right. Do they have kids? Yeah. Exactly. It's to have drinks. It's impossible. To go out and yeah. have a drink after work. Yeah. Right three from weeks. work. Right from work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't right do that. No, we no, got to no, figure that out. No, well, you're not going to be home. Who's going to be home? Well, who's watching okay, the kids during the gap? I can't well, be home. Who's going to be home? Oh, well, who's going to be kids. Home? Honestly, don't have them, people. You know what? It really complicates things. Carmen.do says, I miss the ability to run errands without 50 snacks and three meltdowns. Even like, so she wants freedom to run errands. That's how sad things are. She wants to be able to run errands alone because it's such a nightmare. <clears throat> you know That's, what? So for parents, I'll go to the dentist fucking right now if my kids aren't there. I'll take that hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's drill what we're talking away. about Drill, here. baby, yeah. drill. Go. I want, I've said before, put me in yeah. a medically induced coma yeah. for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I won't, even, I won't even be conscious of the fact that I'm alone, but my body can soak it in. No, it will know. He, here's the problem. It will know. You'll wake right up and your kids will be there. <laughs> <You'll> be <laughs> like, Nothing damn happened. It. Yeah. They'll be there I like, just oh, passed out. Daddy, what happened? God oh, damn it. I'll tell you what stomach. happened. I woke up. God damn it. You're ruining everything. Uh, Ashley and the Bee says she wishes she had the freedom to spend a lazy weekend doing nothing without feeling guilty about it. That's where that guilt comes in. So my wife gets really guilty if we haven't taken the kids somewhere or if yeah. we didn't do something or we wasted one yeah. of our fucking days. God forbid, uh, the f like in, 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 in April, the first sunny day of the year will happen, right? And my wife will act like we're not going to have the next five months of summer and nice weather. Right. And she'll be like, it's the fucking last absolute right. sunny day we're ever going to have. We right. have to fucking maximize it. And I'm like, dude, you're just stressing, your out, stressing yourself out thinking like that. We we just went to the bodega. Come with May. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't worry Let's about see it. how it goes. Just, Yo, just I chill. just bought papers at but the bodega. But she gets mad at me because she's it. like, you keep having that attitude, then you're never going to do anything. If you're always just like, oh, we'll see what happens. It'll be fine. You got to plan some shit. I don't want to do that. 
but she's right in that not getting the kids out and not doing some stuff well, can get old after a while. Yeah, I'm I I agree with. I'm just I will um I'll do anything to get my kids out of the house by now. And by the way, I'm I feel like I'm more of a morning person personally. Like I will I have most of my energy in the morning time. Yeah. And so what I want to do is capitalize on that and then in the afternoon and evening Veg out. just f- shut it all down. Yeah. So I want to take handle it. I mean, sure, but I mean, you take the morning, she takes the night. I mean, now in an ideal state, yes, that's, that's what would work. Not that's ideal, not how it goes. I know. But I'm, I'm also envisioning. See, I always think of like how I'm going to take the kids in the morning and in the evening, in the afternoon, and yeah. I have it all planned out. And that's why, everybody, I would, I love when my wife is able to get some time to herself and, and go on trips just to recharge your batteries. Things. Yeah, go enjoy yourself. Some of us gave us some of some somebody gave I us really some do. bullshit I really on the live mean, beforehand yeah. where somebody was like, "Where are your kids?" and somebody was like, "Probably with the wives. The dads yeah, have it so easy." Correct. Guess what? Yeah, right now they are with the wives. On Saturday night, I was with the kids when my <laughs> yeah. wife was out partying and also exactly. on the Thursday night before that in the right. fucking Tuesday night for book club. Right. You don't know my life. We're responsible parents. Yeah. And we're responsible husbands who let our wives go out and have a good time because we know it's important. And then what we do is we channel all that anger and we put yes. it into this thing. Yes, exactly. And we God bitch about it. it, even though now I'm defending what we do. Do we? I don't know, kind don't of. Know. I'm a good person. No. I got a good hat. Um, but you reminded me of something. So one of my favorite things to do is people are talking about freedom, be able to do whatever you want. One of my favorite things to do, this is before I was married, this is when I lived in Boston, would be like on a Saturday morning in like the spring take a walk put on some headphones and go to like just tower records someone. that's how old i am just go mug to someone. go to tower records and go to like the listening stations and oh, listen yeah. to a couple of songs off a couple of albums and maybe buy a couple of albums just killing like three hours and walking somewhere and getting lunch with or without a friend sometimes just on your own or just or then like get that album and drive around with your disc man sometimes, connected to your car or, radio sometimes or drive around a lot of times without just, by myself just, just so i like being by myself yeah yeah solitude is actually Look, just because i was ostracized solitude. doesn't mean i didn't enjoy it <laughs> listen clarinet oh my high god school not clarinet. in college not in college you have a um, real problem with clarinetists no no what do you yeah, do you have a problem with woody allen now all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no so i think just being being able to be able to do well that's the the spontaneity just being able to do whatever that is you want. that is the word so for it. i feel like solitude and spontaneity are so hand honest. in hand yeah i think they are well and so is freedom so it's really just sleep and yeah then that one so that's kind of why i was like this topic is pretty much <laughs> no, like yeah no. yeah yeah we'll just like you no, know but a lot of a lot no, no, no 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 <laughs> no luigi don't say that this is a family so so Katie McCracken said she misses having zero responsibility. Katie McCracken. Katie McCracken says I miss nice. having zero responsibility and no one asking for something all the damn time. Then shouldn't have gotten married then. <laughs> Boom. Because husband or children too. You know what? You Fruitish just got burned, 1983 Katie. says before kids there was less anxiety because you were only screwing yourself up. Now it's a whole other person or yeah, more than one. You're really going to screw up. Everybody. Sierra Roxanne says the same thing. Not having to worry about someone other than myself 24-7. K. Will 37 says not having any significant concerns. <laughs> right that she's talking about taxes i don't have anything i don't have kids i don't i literally care about nothing um and she like she misses having money to play with me too although i never had money to play with even before i had kids she's talking about monopoly ly woodruff says i travel for work a few times a year and i miss being able to relax when i finally get home instead i get home and get thrown right into bath time or some other parenting chore you know why because you've been out of the house not parenting for yeah. a couple of days you walk in it's like oh there shit your turn you know what there you go. That's the bargain that you strike, though. When you when you're at your relax work work job job your relax work your, job your your me time when you're at your job like fending off toxic emails and like yeah. managing to stay alive and, and traveling, which is so fun. Which is when you're super traveling fun. from a conference or and from an office. When you come home, it's like here's a screaming baby and deal with it. And, and, and I'm and going we do. over out. Yeah, and exactly. I'm sure Ly Woodruff does too. So, so a lot of people um, said they miss their old self. So what's funny is one of the reasons I started my blog way back in 2010, a few months before my kid was born, was because I saw a lot of my friends having their first kids and disappearing. So their social lives would disappear. I didn't but disappear also, that much. But Mike. also, Mike. 
their personalities. Around. Suddenly, they wouldn't be cool or fun anymore, and they kind of they would be like, they get into the shift Luckily, into like I'm a role model, I have to be responsible parent mode kind of thing, right? And one of the reasons I started my blog was. I want to have an outlet for this part of my personality, which happens to be the entire thing where I just rant and I'm sarcastic and a jerk and make fun of my kids. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to lose that. And I haven't because dad and Barry is thriving and we're on TikTok now um, putting with, chapstick on our lips. So here we go. This is it. You've, 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 this is your opus. But a lot of people did say they miss their old selves. So HBG 666 says she misses her entire life before kids. A handful of women said they miss their old bodies. Lego 1311, I miss my old hips, skin elasticity, and boobs. Yeah. Tinker's Pixie says I miss my body. Rachel Bush Jones, my pre-pregnancy body, rip. Gina underscore MDM 78, my body. I don't say rip. Don't say rip, guys. You can get it back. Really? I think, uh, I mean, really, I think. There's lots of tips out there. uh... You got to do dry January like me. Whoops, missed it, I guess. Maybe next year. Because you can't I mean, do another month. Obviously, from not from a you know from a Woman's dad's perspective, perspective yeah. from a dad's perspective, I was I, I was a big yeah. But the big, changes a woman's body big, undergoes are I know, different. I know. And fucking what the fuck is this pregnancy shit is crazy. It is crazy. It my sympathy ass. pains were actually worse than what my wife went through, but that's a <clears throat> rare case. No. <laughs> Tanya Gill twenty one says I miss the person I was before kids because of everything you mentioned, all of the stuff we've been talking about, and also because I wasn't an emotional wreck trying to survive between panic attacks and anxiety about everything. Right. I think some people's anxiety does go into overdrive because all of a sudden you're like, I got to protect my kid. Totally. From- nuts and tree nuts and bees well, we, and we have kidnappers even, and terrorism and well how about when you're like oh everything's gonna be fine and then you have your kid my job you have your kid yeah. and then all of a sudden you're like oh wait what's postpartum oh i fucking nothing oh, matters yeah, exactly, anymore yeah. and i fucking hate everything that's horrible it it's is horrible fucking garbage and guess what i feel that way every day but i just it's not yeah, called it's postpartum not it's just called like life. Uh, yeah it's called being how being i feel a huge about dick. my life yeah I'm a huge dick. <laughs> so a bunch of people mentioned they they missed the sex they were able to have okay. mommy underscore cat 321 says i miss having sex sleep wake up have sex sleep repeat cuz you got to take care of people in between you can't do that and you're too yeah. exhausted yeah. allison Mich- allison Micheline says she misses sex in the living room you can still do that yeah, it can't be at like, you know, 2.30 well, in the afternoon. Well, JenFetch98 <clears throat> says probably having sex any time of day in any room we want. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can do it. You actually <laughs> you technically can do it. Can yes. do it depends it. on whether you, you care. You just need to ex- be able to explain <laughs> real good. Let you, me, you this is how you were born, kids. Or, or it was just, in the kitchen. Or it was about like, 3 p.m. Don't worry. Uh, I'm trying to fix something Maria, Maria, <laughs> I'm trying to fix yeah. something. I'm and wrestling. Your kids will be like, hey, are you fixing the washing machine again? That's not M- how you fix the washing machine. Maria Ia Flath says being able to have sex wherever and whenever. Kate Kate Bobate says weekend sex without having to hurry up and be quiet. So, yes, the sex life is fewer and far between. Just like doing anything for fun by yourself without the kids involved is harder. Yeah. I mean, and not only that, but like the, okay, good. let's get the movie going. Let's make sure oh, everything's, yeah. the door is locked. Everything's the door. locked. Yes, everything's the, locked. the other day, um, my kid tried to bust in. Yeah. And the door was locked. And then afterward, we had to explain. <laughs> the door's like I don't know who locked the door. We were just talking about something. I don't know who locked what, the door because my toddler is constantly locking doors yeah. from like the inside and then yeah. leaving the room. So I pretended that's that he did it because otherwise yeah. the kid comes. They don't right. knock. They just run to the door right. and start jiggling the handle and trying to get in. Right. Terrifying for everybody. To be <laughs> what honest. are we talking about now? The toddler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about okay. it. Anyway. All right. My wife was making strange sounds, and there was a man in the other room, and I was trying to get in. I was <laughs> yeah, like, why is this locked? Why is Greg in there? He's working on the, the – <laughs> Greg. You love the name Greg. I fucking love Greg. <laughs> no, no. Not what you're thinking. Oh, like, a- I, my heart. Greg. Yeah, yeah, I don't know which yeah, yeah. Greg you're talking about. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, so uh, what's funny is uh, in the random section here, random things people missed. Uh, some people said that they missed um, going to a restaurant and sitting at the bar. Right, okay. even getting like a high top, you can't because if there's stools and stuff, the right. kids can't sit on those. Um, um, some people mentioned having less laundry; they miss only having laundry for two or only having to do it once a week. That's a weird thing to miss. J Knight sixty two says, "I I miss no one sneezing in my eyes." You know what? <laughs> right in your eyes. You know what? That's weird. What? Well, try your mouth next time. Try Ooh. like, no, meaning like try and like open your mouth and yeah. divert it. Ashley Le- Ashley Av01 says she misses time to spend with friends. Most of my friends are childless, so playdates aren't a thing. And Mandron, with a zero for the O, says the same thing. We are the first and only yeah. parents in my group, and nobody really gets exactly. it. Exactly. 
So and exactly. And guess what? They're all like, "Hey, come on over. Let's come on out." And you're like, "Actually, I can't." I can't. I'm like, "Oh, don't oh, yeah, worry. Don't bring the pussy. baby." Yeah. No, you oh, don't it'll understand. It'll be great. It'll be great. Bring the baby. You don't understand. My kid has colic. You fucking yeah. assholes. Yeah. Or like, and we haven't slept in. My four kid months. missed his nap I, I today, I, and if yeah, I yeah. bring him out in public, it's gonna be a fucking nah, shit it'll show. It'll be great. Yeah. We'll go to like Pig Beach. We'll like hang out. It'll be great. So here was an interesting one. Crystal Brook and the two O's are backwards parentheses for some reason says in his crystal kry says i was 17 when i had my first kid so i don't even know what adult life is like wow. kid free we talked about we this. talked about this having kids young, young or versus late old, so yeah. you're gonna but here's the thing crystal check that out you, when you're 30 you're basically done 32 33 you're done and you have your entire you're still young you're high-fiving you have your entire life ahead and not of only that but you have like a like a full-grown adult that will yeah. back you up with and can babysit if you have <laughs> yeah. a younger kid. So we did a whole episode exactly. on this. You should go check it out, whether it's better to have kids when you're young or old and kind of the pros and cons I, of, uh, of that I said a, situation. A, a person that I know, uh, a friend of my wife's, had a kid when he was a freshman in college, so around uh -huh. that time. And now he's our age. His kid is in college. Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. Like, what the fuck? Like, he's probably well, what, right four now. years younger yeah. than Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally. Kid, yeah. Like, holy fucking shit. That's what? crazy. Yeah, I have a kid. I have a couple of friends whose kids are real close to that. Patrick Mahomes the is the first QB friends for in the your Chiefs. group that you know that had kids. And, like, I have a fucking four year old, and I have a kid, a friend of mine, his daughter's going to be going to college in a year or two. It's crazy. I just I like I hate that friend of yours. I Me think. too. You know what I mean? Well, I hate the friend you just talked about. Good call. Um, and Katie Carl seventy nine says, "I don't remember what life was like before kids, and isn't that tragic?" That is no, that's tragic. But I feel like, come on. Well, you know, we're gonna talk next week about some of the perks of having kids. What do we like most oh. about about our parent lives? Changing it up a little bit. So Katie Carl, 79, says she doesn't remember what life was like before kids. And Pete was like, that's not a bad thing. I love my parent life so much. I fucking love it. You've evolved. You've changed. You don't remember who you used to be. You know why? Because you, you know sprouted what? wings. You know what? My friend we started, wings. We started this podcast. I got it all out of my system. And now it's just. And now I'm like. Yeah, we forgot to tell you. We're changing beautiful. the format <laughs> yeah. of the podcast and all my social media. Yep. It's we, all just going to be me putting chapstick on while staring at the cameras <laughs> yeah. and being positive about yeah. parenthood. Well, because it's come to this now. We it's should have done this on fucking this. Uh, April Fool's. It would have been a good episode for April Fool's it's, to do what we like about our kids. It's still, there's still time. No, the, but if April Fool's doesn't fall on the right day, there's, there's no point in doing that. You can't do April Fool's on like April 5th. <laughs> okay. Right? Well, I don't know. Look, this Let's is what goes on behind the scenes. April first is a Wednesday. <clears throat> We're really <laughs> We gotta come up with something else. We'll I look. know what we'll do. I already came up with it. You did? Just like that. Fucking synaptics oh my firing. God. Synaptics? Shh. Classic. Dana Bosday really liked our sibling rivalry episode. She said this might be my favorite off the rails out of the gate episode yet. She commented that on YouTube, because on YouTube you can comment under individual episodes. Yeah, and we're gonna like uh we're gonna ramp it up. Ash, Alicia Mowry said the same thing. This is my favorite episode yet because it makes me feel great about having an only child. Ouch. You know what? Alicia, with your only child and your non-sibling rivalry, which was our previous episode, yeah. which are pre go, go listen check it to out, that. folks. And then subscribe on Apple and give us a rating on Apple. Subscribe on, You're probably on uh, subscribe. Spotify. You're probably or something, but like also just... Fine. Just give us on. a rating, please. Five stars. You leave a review if you want, but a rating. But you were going to say something to Alicia. You were going to say something nasty. Can yeah, yeah. Up? I was going to... Hold on a second. I was just going to just complete... <laughs> just <laughs> just fucking just, we'll just save that quick, for next week. <laughs> real quick. Let me just do this I'm real quick. I don't want you to lose in your between, train of thought. In between, like, give us a five star rating. Let me just quickly just Finish rip this where you were shitting YouTube all over one of our commenter. listeners. Yeah. Just let me fucking rip her Tear apart. Tear her apart. Part. guess what we'll do that next week we'll see you next time when Please we talk about things we like about parenting so bring your fucking shit and yeah what does that even mean in a bring bag bring your fucking shit bring it in a bag here you go bring Here's your my best shit. positive responses for next week don't worry we'll find a way to also, spin it into stars. negativity don't worry about four don't just no five stars I, I know but like we've, we've got like two four stars it's like come on no we don't need more four stars we need more five stars we love you Thank you so much. See you guys.
I don't know why you would still be watching this isn't a Marvel movie, no matter how much I look like Paul Rudd, which every, you can deny it all you want. It's there in the eyes, I think. I'm young looking like him. If you enjoyed the podcast, which you obviously did or you wouldn't be listening still, sign up on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you want to listen to. Comment here on YouTube. Subscribe. Hit that like button. We want to hear from you. Comments, questions, dirty jokes, money, all the money you can give us. We'd love it all. Catch you next time.